Hi there, Derek Nisho. Certainly a little bit of a better day than yesterday. You know, we were showing you last night that multi vehicle pile up, but still several closures impacting our entire viewing area. We did see some collisions today. I want to put this into perspective for you guys. Austin Fire in the last 24 hours has responded to 335 crashes on a normal day. They usually get about 500 calls. In the last 24 hours, they've had a little over 800 calls. They are busy. I know y'all are tired of us telling you stay off the roads going into this weekend. If you can just hunker down a little bit longer. Some of those major closures today included Mopac where I'm out right now at SH 71 and this morning as well as flyovers connecting I 35 and SH 45 to 183 toll road among several others which all have reopened since. But I do want to let you guys know as we enter into the weekend, these road conditions have been changing by the hour as Textod moves through to treat the accumulated ice. You can anticipate having to take alternate routes if you are trying to drive anywhere in the coming days. We actually spoke with the gentleman Joe Lamping, very nice guy. He has owned Flamingo Automotive downtown for 33 years. He talked about why it's important to make sure your tires are fully inflated with enough tread. When there's not enough tread depth, the tire's going to be a lot more likely to hydroplane. The water really just doesn't have anywhere to go. It will skate across the top of the surface of the road instead of just channeling the water to the side. So, you know, as everyone says, I can eke a little bit more time out of my tires, and I like to emphasize to my customers, you really want to be safe. 15, 30 seconds. Now he says most modern cars have anti-lock braking systems. So when driving over ice, just a reminder for you, I know a lot of us aren't used to driving in these conditions. Continue gently applying the brakes and feel what the AVS is doing. If it feels like it's pulsing or vibrating, it's OK. Stay on the brake pedal, continue steering. But once again, best case scenario, don't don't come out here. Don't come out here. And he's he says he's already gotten a lot of calls uh, from people yesterday that are already experiencing damage and some of these other issues. But you know we're gonna keep you guys updated throughout the weekend. Be careful out here. I'm gonna send it back to you guys in studio.